I want to focus on the aspect of how as clubs we need to adapt to this digital world. Most countries have started or ramped up their vaccination program and people are already talking about how do we do hybrid meetings. And rather than simply talking about hybrid meetings, I'm actually going to create a hybrid meeting today, demonstrate what is it as a club that you will need if you are seriously pursuing hybrid meetings. So let's talk about the technology that you require for hybrid meetings. Some of you all might be already doing it. Some of you might be considering it. Some of you might be wondering, can we do it? The technology that is required for a hybrid meeting. I break down the technology into five aspects. First of all, you need a laptop and it has to have internet. You need a microphone so that the online people who are attending your hybrid meeting can hear what you're saying. You need a speaker so that the people sitting in the room can hear what the online audience is saying. You need a camera so that the online audience can see the physical room and you need a display so that the audience sitting in the room can see the online audience. So these are the uh, five elements required for conducting a hybrid meeting. If you think about it, your laptop has all of these elements, has a camera, it has a display, it has a speaker and it has a microphone. But let's think more about it. Is the laptop sufficient? The answer might be no, because if you think about a speaker which is built inside the laptop, it might not be powerful enough to be heard in the whole room. So how do we solve that problem? Maybe you connect a small Bluetooth speaker so that instead of the sound coming from the laptop, it comes from that speaker. What about the microphone? The microphone, depending upon the laptop, might be not good enough because when you speak, especially if you are giving a speech standing up, then the person who is uh, who are online might not be able to hear you clearly. They'll complain, you are not very clear. What about the display? The laptop has a display, but maybe the audience cannot see all of the speakers clearly. And what about the camera? If you want to have a hybrid meeting, you can start just with the laptop and then decide depending upon the size of the room where you'll plan to meet, what are the extra things that you might need that the laptop is not capable of? Recently, I invested in this small device. It's called an Anchor Power Conference Speaker. And I believe that with this speaker, as long as uh, your room is not a big hall, if you connect the laptop to this speaker, you can actually have a hybrid meeting and, and it's not very expensive by the way. I bought it from Amazon US actually for hundred dollars. Maybe what I might require is if there are too many people and they can't see the laptop clearly, I can have another laptop or if I have a TV in the room, I can optionally connect to a TV or if you want to carry a projector with you, you could carry a projector and connect the projector to that uh, laptop. Camera, I'm pretty confident uh, all uh, new laptops come with decent cameras, so they should be fine. If you see on your screen, there are two camera views of Priscilla. So what I have done is I've connected a mobile to this meeting. So there are two devices connected in that room. So if you look at that view, Priscilla is currently sitting in, in, on in the room and this view is, let's say, a mobile device. And I made sure that this device is not connected to the audio because you know, when there are two devices in the same room, it will create an echo. So to avoid that echo, only her laptop, which you can see. So that is the device that is connected and that acts both as the microphone as well as the speaker. And that speaker is powerful enough that even if there were six, seven people, they would hear me very clearly in that room. So what I want to do is I want to sort of have a small table topic session to show to you how a hybrid meeting would look like. Also, if you look at that audience view, I have connected it to a TV. But as you can see, if you were looking in, in that uh, camera view, 
you can see me appearing on that screen there. Priscilla, if you could perhaps put it in a gallery view. Voila, you can see the entire audience on the TV over there. So really, I haven't done any investment as such. If you want to conduct hybrid meetings, the only investment is that microphone, that the device that I talked about, which acts as a microphone and a speaker. And that is the key to it, that we should be able to hear her clearly and she should be able to hear us through that device. So let's run a small table topic session. This is a hybrid meeting and she is a table topic master. Priscilla. Thank you, DTM Kajitin. Once again, hello leaders of District 99. Today, I'm the Table Topic Master. Welcome to DTM Khaled. Our Club Growth Director is here with District 99. Your topic today is, what inspired you to take up the role of Club Growth Director? <laughs> what inspired you to take up the role of Club Growth Director? Table topic masters, fellow Toastmasters. I don't think we have guests. I consider myself a guest. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are. Very nice topic. Let me just give you a small story before I tell you what inspired me to be club growth director. A few days ago, my son just walked in while I was connected to two meetings. I was connected to one EXCO meeting on one mic, and there was another meeting as well on the other mic. And he came in there and asked me something. He asked me for dinner, to be very specific. And I could not really recollect what he was saying. And I said, Abdullah, just hold on. I have a meeting right now. And then he looked at me and he said, what are you doing to yourself? Why are we doing all of this? <laughs> That's the time where I smiled back to him. Of course, he left. This is not the first time he asked me. But that's where the pen dropped. As leaders, we need to ask ourselves this question from now, from time to time. Sometimes you forget. The urge to quit comes to you. And this is normal for us, all of us as leaders. The urge to quit comes to us. But we need to remember the reason why are we doing what we are doing. We need to go back to the basics. As leaders of Toastmasters, what image are we giving outsiders when they see us as Toastmasters? This is something we need to remember all of us. Going back to why I'm being the club growth director, because I want to lead my kids by a good example of a father. And that's why I'm in Toastmasters. And over to you, Table Topic. So just an example of how a hybrid meeting would be conducted. And thank you so much for uh, taking part in this. Let me go back to answer my Q&A session. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for taking part in the table topic session. And we go back to our trainer, DTM Kajitin. 